Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest Hearts of Iron 4 challenge. I promised you that I'll do something that was highly requested, and one of the highly requested videos is to reform Persia. So I'm going to play as Iran and reform Persia. Regular difficulty, Iron Man mode, historical focuses, and we need to take Afghanistan, Iraq, Turkey, and all the land here that belongs to the UK, France, and Italy. So it is not one of the most challenging challenges I've had. So as an added um, difficulty, let's say, I'm going to try and make it happen as quickly as I can. Let's start with some military factories. We're gonna need way more guns. Train some infantry, and that's it. Well, let's wait. Though before we do anything else, I should probably build air bases over here and over here, so we can use our planes to invade Iraq and Afghanistan. With political effort done, we need to switch into one of the evil ideologies. Let's hire a fascist demagogue. Spanish Civil War, it doesn't really matter to us. Nationalism focus. And a silent workhorse. Now I'm not going to do a focus for a while. I need to gather up some political power because we need to switch ideologies as quickly as possible. And if we get the threat of communism event, well, it's, it can happen very quickly. Let's open up political discourse. All right, I think that's enough political power saved up. Well, let's go with the industrial path and get some military factories. Ah, threat of communism. Good. With 35% fascist support. Now we need another event like that, or we just need to wait until we're at 40 and then discredit the government and do a referendum. Oh, threat of communism again. That's surprising. Well, in that case, I'm not going to discredit the government. Let's just wait a little bit longer and just do the referendum straight away. We do have a very good general. I'm also going to need a field marshal. Ah, uh, generic. That's fine. Let's promote him and make him charismatic. Probably should have discredited the government as soon as I could. Then we would get the threat of communism events faster. Anyway, we should be able to do the referendum now. And here we go. All right. Let's start justifying war goals. Iraq has to be first. Hopefully they didn't get a guy. Ah, they did get a guy. That makes it difficult. Oh, well, whatever. And Afghanistan. They also got a guy that makes it more difficult. Bloody hell. Oh, well, don't really have a choice. Iraq and Afghanistan. Oh, crap. We got a horrible, horrible leader. War support minus 10%. That's... Very bad. I would like to go to war economy, but that's not a possibility and it's not going to be for a while longer. I suppose I could go to free trade for extra 5% factory output and the research speed. That is non-trivial. Sure, let's do that. And Japan is attacking China. Our war goal on Iraq is ready, but not all my troops are in position yet. I'm going to wait a little bit before I declare war. Try and deploy some more troops. We do have two months. Of validity on the war goal. So I'd like to hire an infantry expert and an offense expert before we start and deploy some more guys. Full army and deployed. Are we ready to attack? Yes, I think we are. Well, let's go. How well defended are you? Not well defended at all. I do need more guns though. Ah, we got bigger that already. Right, you hold on here and we should be winning now. Good, let's just annex everything. Next order of business. Oh, I was supposed to start just for Turkey. How much time until this round? This is done. Not much time. We'll start justifying on Turkey once uh, we're already at war with Afghanistan. Afghanistan is going to be a little bit tougher to crack than Iraq. Also, why are you not using strategic redeployment? Let's finally go to... Oh, I still can't go to war economy. <laughs> oh well. Now we start justifying on Turkey. Increase the world tension that way. There you go. Now we should be able to get war economy. No, still can't. That's unfortunate. Almost. Oh well. Uh, then I'm gonna get an army regrouping expert instead. And declare war on Afghanistan. Now you've concentrated your forces up north. That might actually be a very good idea. We might be able to circle around and take their capital. Come on, come on. Alright, now act quickly. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Let's focus on Kabul. If we can take that, the war is won. And even if I don't get to Kabul with this quick action, we have separated out quite a lot of their troops and they're getting killed. And Afghanistan should be ours now. Let's annex everything. 
However, I have changed my mind about Turkey. Let's leave it for later. I'm going to cancel our justification on Turkey. I'm gonna need some dockyards. Because we're gonna be building submarines. And I should probably form another army. I suppose we could have invaded Saudi Arabia. Maybe we still can. Let's try it. I don't actually need them for Persia, but uh, our borders will look better. Hmm, no guarantees so far. Good. Maybe we can take them. That will make it easier to beat up the Allies later on. And finally we can go to war economy. Why submarines? Well, because we can make a lot of them cheaply. Oh, we have a submarines expert. That's useful. Germany, fate of Czechoslovakia, all right. Auto hit and drop and our justification is complete. Let's attack. Shouldn't be too difficult. Maybe we can also snag Yemen and Oman if I play my cards right. And Saudi Arabia is ours. Let's annex everything. We don't really need it for Persia, but it's gonna make our borders look better. Why not take all of that as well? Uh, I'm also going to try and attack Yemen and Oman, however I will wait until Germany has attacked uh, the Allies to do that, because the Allies should be distracted, and in the meantime I'm going to produce some more submarines and some more infantry units. Yemen and Oman, we don't really need them, uh, but every little bit helps and, you know, we can expand a little bit before we actually face uh, the Allies. I probably should have built some more civilian factories. Ah, that's fine. In two months they're going, there's going to be an attack on the Allies. And then we're going to start justifying some more goals on Yemen and Oman. I could theoretically try and attack Turkey, uh, but it would be a huge waste of resources. They're quite powerful at the moment. Yes, more submarines. Yes, I know submarines suck. But I'm going to only need them for one combat. All right, and the Axis are attacking the Allies. Are you at war with Britain and France? Yes, you are, so let's start justifying. I'm going to attack Yemen and Oman just for the few factories that they will have. And then we turn against the Allies. In the meantime, I need to prepare a fleet of submarines. The Allies are busy fighting the Axis, so they're not going to guarantee Yemen and Oman. At least not for a while. Poland is about to capitulate, and then comes France. We need to time our actions right. I need to defeat uh, the UK before the United States join. Denmark and Netherlands capitulated. And France is about to be taken. Time to get the extra research slot. We need 51 factories, but if I cancel my trade for a moment, here you go, 51 factories. And now I can redo the trade. France has surrendered. I could theoretically start planning my attack on the UK right now, um, but we do have some time, we don't need to hurry up that much. Finland accepts Soviet demands, well, they're gonna attack you anyway. I'm gonna need some more troops. Let's make another army group. Our justification on Yemen is already. No guarantees, let's attack. Japan is inviting us to our faction, to their faction. Uh, I have no interest in that. We could theoretically snag a bit of manpower and factories from China, but we don't need to. Let's not waste our time. Oh, that was quick. Uh, let's annex Yemen. It's not going to give us a lot of factories or anything like that. How many did we get? Three. Well, that is not a lot, but it is also um, something. How's our submarine production? 19. Justification on Oman is ready. Let's quickly conquer them and then get ready to strike at the Allies. Now just go for the capital. Yeah, right. Annex everything. Now our plan to attack the Allies. Mm, we need to mass all our forces here and quickly jump through the English Channel. It usually works. That's what I need those submarines for. In the meantime, I'll have to protect my ports and take all the Allied uh, possessions in this area. Our current technology lets us send two full armies on a naval invasion. Let's uh, join the Axis first. Oh no, not war with the USSR. Send our troops to the English Channel. Invasion missions. We have not joined uh, the war so we can mm, safely travel there. Okay, this should do it. Theoretically. Our guys will be on their way in a moment. Now I also need to relocate my submarines there and give them a commander. You guys will need to face off against uh, the British Raj. You will take Syria and Egypt for me. You will take the British positions around here. Whilst uh, some of the new armies I have created are going to be securing our ports. So we didn't attack Finland, even though they accepted their demands. Didn't I tell you never to trust the communist? Let's get a naval maneuver expert. It's going to be quite useful for a quick naval invasion. We should be able to do a quick invasion here if we play our cards right. 
Romania affects Bulgaria. We don't really care. Although it might be easier to beat up Romania later on when we start fighting Turkey. Let's uh, do a search and destroy mission over in the English Channel. These orders are active now. All I need to do is quickly join uh, the war. And everything should activate. Can we do that? Alright, this is the moment that will resolve everything. All spell my doom. Let's see. Has our invasion launched? Our invasion has launched. Can it land though? Convoy intercepted, really? Oh, come on. In the meantime, we are invading the British Raj and all the British possessions here. But the important bit is the invasion of the uh, UK itself. Ah, we've landed! <laughs> At least one army. I wonder if that is going to be sufficient. We're gonna have to do some manual management because our forces are technically inferior to theirs. Right, I've given my guys some manual orders. Hopefully this will be enough. Let's slow the game down a bit and unpause. We need a port. At least one. I'm trying to take this one, but maybe we'll get a different one quickly. The game's running very slow. Why is that? London is well defended. Don't really have a chance of getting that, but... Hmm. Yeah, we have to try. Something's a bit wrong with my game today. It's running really slowly. Do you guys still have a chance of landing or not? I don't know. Maybe these units that we have will be sufficient. The key here is to do all of this quickly so they can't stop us. Okay, we have separated a lot of them out in London, which is very good. Let's see if it lets us beat them completely. Uh, we still need quite a lot of victory points, but it would be nice to, you know, control all this area and then we can focus on London. Oh no, they've retaken the port, that's bad. You help with that. We're about to be done with the British, it seems. How are we doing in the Middle East? Uh, fine, not as well as in the British Isles, and, but it doesn't really matter. Italy attacks Greece, we don't mind. Our war participation is 20% in the whole war. Which is pretty good. Come on, finish them off. And we're done. This should mark the end of the war. Now let's see if we need if we can take all the land that we need. Boom! UK has capitulated and we are victorious. We should focus on taking all the land that we actually need to form Persia. And then we can take care of the rest. If I can make Persia bigger than it actually was, um all the better. Let's take a bit of Greece as well, so our attack on Turkey will be easier. And a bit of India as well. You know, let's bloat Persia a little bit. We have taken all the land we actually need for Persia, apart from Turkey and, you know, bits of Italy. Um, but we'll spread our empire a little bit more. Let's puppet the UK. Let's puppet Canada. As the next move, I have taken some puppets. That might be useful later. And now, well, the Persians always wanted to invade Greece. Now is our chance. That ends the peace conference. I have retaken all the Persian land except for Turkey and Italy, and I've expanded our empire a little bit. A tiny, a little bit. Yeah, it's a bit too big, but it doesn't matter really. I also got a few puppets. They're rather weak, like Britain here, um, but this way we'll at least uh, inherit their navy. Now let's get ready to betray the Axis and take this bit of Italy, but first we need to take Turkey. And there are no allies left to stop us. Unfortunately, the justification will take a while. And I do have a lot of manpower thanks to taking India. I should probably mention that if I was going for a world conquest, I would invade the United States now, because I have puppeted Canada and it would be quite easy and would make us more powerful. But we don't need that. Time to declare war on Turkey. Let's see how quickly we can get that done. We are attacking from all sides, so it should be relatively quick. Ah, oh, we finished shock and all, wonderful. I lost an army that stupidly left a port. It's unfortunate. Are those Soviet volunteers? Curious. Go, take that. How long until you capitulate? Almost there. And we're done. Take all states, please. Good. Now all we need is a little bit of Italy. That's over here. I have distributed my troops, I need to build a few more units, but um, yeah, essentially we need to take this as soon as possible. Um, but I am covering my uh, backside by also preparing an army for, you know, each of the other conflict zones. I'm strengthening the Soviets by buying steel from them, because if they start fighting the Germans soon, that will be good for me. Oh, 
Germany has attacked the Soviets. That is actually good for me, because they will be weaker for that. Um, I will need to leave uh, the faction. Let's leave the faction now. Ily, would you give me military? Yes, you would give me military access. That is wonderful news. Oh, wait a minute. Did I do this too quickly? Will my guys have their orders cancelled? God damn it. No, they haven't, since Italy has accepted a military to give us military access. Okay, good. That's very good. Let's just fire a war goal on Germany and have them, you know, leave our territory in the meantime. I can always rejoin the faction for a brief moment. Doesn't really matter what we decide to attack. We have military access from Italy, so I will not even have to, you know, cancel their orders. I do need to deploy some more units, though, as soon as I can. And our justification on Germany is complete. Now, I can actually rejoin um, their faction to make it a bit easier, because they will leave our mutual borders then. I should probably do that. No reason to pass up an advantage if we can. Let's join the faction. Just for a brief moment. Let them leave our mutual borders. I think that is enough waiting. Now, let's betray the Germans. Leave a faction. Activate orders. Declare war. Now I need them to call in Italy. They've called in Italy and haha, we have immediately taken over this state here. Is this enough to form the Persian Empire? No, because why not? Ah, we don't control everything yet. They did have some troops in the area. Well, there you go, let's help take care of them. Yeah, Japan is calling people and we don't really care. Interesting, the Soviet Union is inviting me to their faction. I should probably accept. Let's join the common turn. Ha, we can, okay. There we go. Recreate the Persian Empire. Challenge complete. Okay, that's about it, we did it. We are, we have recreated Persia as Iran, but you know what, let's, let's see how this war would develop. I didn't really plan this out to win this war, I only planned it out to make Persian Empire. However, let's see how that would proceed, at least for a while. We have completed the challenge, now let's have a little bit of fun against the Axis. Let's join the Soviet war. It's gonna work out. Quite nicely, although we will have some trouble here, but I can give this territory away for now. Well, let's go. Romania is now involved as well. Rise of the Persian Empire has happened. Let's see how the situation develops for a while. Yeah, we have the Serbian puppet. And that's quite a lot of manpower. Since I do have so much equipment stockpiled, I should just modify the template. And make all these units much bigger. And the attack on the Axis is going fine so far. Although we have to watch out, be careful. I wonder how well the Soviets will do. Also, are the United States involved? They are, but only against Japan, unfortunately. Oh well, that is better than nothing. Mm, yeah, the British are gonna get defeated. Should not have called them in. Okay, this is a little bit of a stalemate. We are slowly getting the upper hand, I think, because we've cleaned up everything here and I can dedicate more troops to fighting in this area. And the Soviets are pushing as well. If I continue this game longer, I'm pretty sure we can deal with the Axis and defeat them. Mm, two reasons. We are slowly getting the upper hand here and we do have a lot of manpower and equipment. I can make my armies even stronger. I have also cleaned up most of the resistance in the area so we can dedicate more troops here. I didn't really put troops to fight Japan, but we don't really care. We have a large buffer uh, against them so far. Also, the other reason is that in 42, um, the United States should be joining the war, which will also be quite helpful. So. To reiterate, if we continue this, we will most probably win, but it would take a long time. I did not gear my expansion here towards you know, world domination and defeating the Axis, just towards creating the Persian Empire. If I wanted to you know, be stronger and defeat them easily, I would have waited a little bit longer and conquered the United States in the meantime, thus making ourselves even more powerful. But we have achieved our goal, and I'm pretty sure we can win against the Axis as well. So I am going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Persia lives again. I will see you soon. Goodbye.